Hi, welcome to our math lesson. Today we'll be multiplying decimals. The focus for today is to learn how to multiply decimals. There are some few vocabulary that I want to go through with you. Now, decimals is just a, a symbol that is used to separate the integer part from the fractional part of a number. Now, multiplication has other synonyms that we can use like times, groups of, or lots of, product, multiplied by. Now, a decimal place, that is the position of a digit to the right of a decimal point. For example, 9.2 has one decimal place. 9.23 is two decimal places. 9.234 is three decimal places. Now, whole numbers are numbers without fraction, or you can say they are integers. Our learning objective is to multiply decimals now and there are three success criteria to help you to do that first that you can take out the decimal point second that you can also use previous knowledge to multiply the whole numbers to get an answer and third that you can even place back the decimal point. Now, how are we going to multiply 1.3 times 0 0.5? Now, there are some steps we'll go through. First, take out the decimal point and write it as 13 times 5. Now, use previous knowledge to do your, multi your multiplication. So 13 times 5, if you do it properly, that will be 65. And the third step is count how many digits are behind the decimal in the original question and put them back. So if you come with me to the original question, which is here, behind the decimal, I have one decimal here, place, and I have a second one here. So it's actually two decimal places which I'm going to put back in my answer. So, instead of writing it as 65, I'll write it as, the decimal will come one, two. So it's actually 0 0.65. Let's do a second one. How will you multiply 7.86 times 0 0.4? Okay. First step, let's take out the decimal point. So for my first uh, decimal, I will have 783, then times four. So if I do my multiplication using previous knowledge, I should have 3,132. Now the third part here says, count the number of digits that are behind the decimal in the original question and put them back. So let's go back to the original question and see how many uh, digits are behind the decimal. So in my first one, I have one, two, and then three. So uh, I'm going to put back three decimal places in my answer. So I was starting from here, that'll be one, two and three. So my answer is actually 3.132. Now what I want you to do is to pause the video here and do this uh, question. 3.65 times 2.4. We'll look at the answer in the next slide. How did you do? Now, given 3.65 times 2.4, now the first step 
I will do is to take out the decimals, the decimal point. So now I will have 365 times 24. Now, if I use previous knowledge to times three digit by two digit, I should have 8,760. And uh, to get my answer, I have to count the number of digits behind the decimal in the original question and put them back. So if I go back to my original question, the number of digits behind the decimal point here, one, two, and then this one has one. So one, two, three. So I'm going to put back three decimal points in my answer. So starting from here, one, two, and three. So my decimal point should be here. It should be 8.760. Now what I want you to do is to pause the video here, go and do the work. Now when you go, when you go to the work, the miles should be looking for uh, ES2 multiplying by hundredth. The medium should be looking for MS1 is also multiplying by hundredth. And then the hot should be looking for MS2 multiplying by hundredth. The answers are there. Please don't look at the answers before. You can look at them after. Now, just to finish off, what I want you to do is look at some of the questions that you did really well at. Call a guardian, or if they are busy, you call a sibling, and show them the steps you use to uh, do the work. Just as a reflection, were you able to take out the decimal points? Were you also able to use previous knowledge to multiply whole numbers to get an answer? Were you even able to place back the decimal points in your answer? If you were able to do all that, well done, you can now multiply decimals.